So maybe you heard Oregon has a new state song. Kind of. It's actually some new lyrics to the old state song and only a few new lyrics. I'll explain. The song is called Oregon, my Oregon, and it's been Oregon State song since 1927. But one woman realized that the original words to the song were not really something that she wanted to teach her kids. So let's take a look at the original words just in the very first verse. They want me to sing this, but I've only heard the song like once, so I'm not going to sing it. You're welcome. Land of the Empire Builders. Ah, yes, the Oregon Empire. So we're starting a bit strong there. It goes on to say, conquered and held by free men. It's a bit much. Let's go down to the second verse now, where they go full Da Vinci Code. It says, blessed by the blood of martyrs. My goodness. So choir director Amy Shapiro didn't like the referencing to empire building and conquering or the blood of martyrs, so she rewrote the words and proposed it to the Oregon legislature. And this week, the lawmakers there passed the resolution changing the lyrics to this. Land of majestic mountains, land of the great northwest, forests and rolling rivers, grandest and the best. I like it. But anytime you make some changes to something that's been around for that long, like a hundred years, there's, there's going to be some pushback. All right, we got a response from a viewer, Chaplain Deborah Diane. She said, now I am offended. What is going on in a world that things that are decades or centuries old have to be changed? We are destroying our history by doing that. I'm 66 years old. I've never been offended by the lyrics. I'm also white, but I grew up in North Portland. People get over it. She goes on to say that if she doesn't like a song, she simply chooses not to listen to it, which I assume she's going to do with this new song. Then again, how often are we really going to be faced with a decision whether or not to listen to that song? I mean, it's not performed very often, although it is always sung before the start of the legislative session. So if you find yourself in Salem around that time, you've been warned. But as far as destroying our history, that, that phrase has always kind of confused me a bit. You, you can't destroy history unless you have a time machine. Just because something changes doesn't mean that it gets erased. For instance, a hundred years ago, when our old state song was first approved, women couldn't vote. You could go to jail for being gay. A uh, black person or an Asian immigrant could only live in Oregon under certain working conditions. A lot of other things, you know, fewer cars, little electricity. Prohibition was just getting started. Uh, we've changed a lot, okay? But that history, hasn't been destroyed. In fact, recently, it's been illuminated by stories like this.